In the previous videos, I've shown how to draw a hex bolt and it's 3D. You can get the links to those videos in the description. In this video, we will draw its thread detailed view. Let's open the drawing. Ensure that your visual style is set to 2D wireframe for enhanced performance. Let's set up the layer. You can pause the video and check the layer setup. I will set the thick lines to 0.6 millimeters. Add a viewport layer and disable printing for this layer. I will set its color to red for easy recognition. 0.5 millimeters is too thick. Let's change it to 0.15 millimeters. Add a hidden layer. We will use this later in the detailed view of our drawing. I will enable printing for this layer and change its color to white. I will set its thickness to 0.13 millimeters similar to thin lines. The line type should be hidden. The layer setup is complete. As a bonus and a gesture of gratitude to all who are watching my videos and to my subscribers, I will include a download link to this drawing in the description below. You can pause the video and decrease the playback speed to follow along with this drawing tutorial. Now go to the paper space. Then go to the layout tab and select rectangular viewport. Create a viewport that is just large enough to view the hex bolt. Importantly, make sure to adjust the scale accordingly. I will try 1.8. If you can't find a suitable scale, you can create a custom scale. Find custom, click on add and I will name it 1.7 custom. Don't forget to set the drawing units, then click OK. After that, you can select the custom scale you have created. Let's adjust the viewport size accordingly. Center the drawing in the viewport. Switch back to paper. Next, create a circle. Set its center to 8.5 by 6 with a diameter of 3.5. In the Layout Viewport tab, select Object Command and choose the circle to transform it into a viewport. Select the Circle Viewport and switch to Model. Zoom in on the part of the geometric figure you want to have a detailed view of. Adjust the scale accordingly. I'll switch to model space and add dimensions in the detailed view. I will select the dimension, go to properties, and change its dim scale overall to 1. I will add additional dimensions for the root and crest. Use match properties to match the crest and root dim to the pitch dimension. Let's go back to paper space and adjust its zoom to 1 is to 2. One is to two is a bit small. To increase the figure size, I will create a custom scale named one is to 1.5 custom. The drawing unit is set to 1.5. Then click OK and select the new custom scale. I will make a few adjustments to make it look more professional. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, you may subscribe to help me grow my channel.
I will select the circle viewport, switch its layer to thin line, and lock it. I will create another circle with the same diameter and location as the circle viewport. I will then select this circle and using the change space command, transfer it to model space. Let's go to model space and change its layer to thin layer. Going back to paper space, let's switch the current layer to hidden. I will add two tangent lines to these circles. Copy the text and add scale label to the detailed view and geometric figure. Finally, I will change the dimension color to 252. Let's see the preview. That's perfect. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in my next video.